what's most incredible is the batches saved by batches. This will go up to about a hundred thousand considering the bullets and the shell casings. Um, these Gatling guns rotate on uh, well one main axis and then they're parented to that main axis so you see the uh, death by rotation is being rotated but also rotating Gatling guns are attached to it plus another Gatling gun attached. There are a total of 54 Gatling guns and this is in slow motion. As time increases you'll see the velocity of bullets increase and also the line that goes with the bullets that took some extreme uh, time and effort to figure out how to really do that considering everything had to be uh, instanced and batched so um, the objects that are not real game objects are the shells the bullets the lines those are not real game objects uh, this is using particle emitters, uh, so I have efficiency for pooling, advanced pooling, and then particle emitters, and then on top of that, um, the sound is also uh, pooled. So I only really have one sound effect for the loop, but um, I could add more. So everything is efficiently being. Uh, coded. And we can see I also can change the direction and whatnot of these shell casings. I can make them go wherever I like to really. But this is probably the best way for them to be so they don't really have mesh collision problems or, or mesh uh, bleeding issues. So we see they just come out nice and uh, flowing and the slow motion is amazing. So I'm not using um, I'm not using rigid body with Unity. I'm not using Unity physics on this. This is stuff I wrote by hand. Um, if I use the rigid body system we would see issues in the slow motion. We would see things that spawn up but don't really move quickly. You don't get this smooth look like this. Um, so I'm not using I'm using draw uh, graphics draw mesh instance to get all of these things uh, drawn up for the bullets, the pooled objects. And an interesting test that I did was that I changed all the Gatling guns to be also uh, graphics to, uh, draw mesh instance. And I did not get better FPS, but I had saved more batches, and it kept saying I, had, I was drawing 50,000 more triangles, but uh, to me that didn't make any sense because I was deleting and uh, removing all the meshes and I knew for a fact that was all I was drawing so I thought I was being misled in that information but I don't know the FPS was still 10 less which didn't make sense to me I thought there was some kind of weird thing going on there I spent extensive time on that until I just realized okay there's something something with the statics this is, excuse me statistics just not showing that correct information or not saying something or something's missing so, but I do know from experience that having no game objects is more or, or less overhead, excuse me, and uh, some of the things that are programmed with the game objects are not uh, efficient, as well as just programming them yourself with no game objects, you're going to have more efficiency. So it doesn't make sense because I know all these bullets are more efficient and they have less overhead. And you can see it in the graphics FPS. I mean, look at how many are on screen. This is non-compiled, this is in the game uh, window, and so we're in the comp the editor, and we can see this just looks amazing. The slow motion and everything is really cool. The Gatling guns being on each and every axis individually, different speeds, different direction. Um, it just looks beautiful. There's also uh, what I would say is the materials on the guns. Uh, do get hot. Um, we can see this heating up effect here. They get more yellow as time goes on. The muzzle flash gets bigger. Um, so these are effects that happen with the Gatling guns over time. We'll also see that it takes time for it to uh, 
get full speed and then shoot. This is deliberate. Um, also, we'll see where the shell ejections are that they come out spaced in time. So if this one be rotating, then the first shell will come out. Then one of these rotates, then the second shell comes out. They're based on these connections, and that's a lot of transform uh, information of where it comes from and what it's connected to. Um, down here, we'll do a little look at it. You can just see everything flows really beautifully. The bolts come out where they're supposed to, out of the Gatling guns. Uh, it's all based on time and rotation, and um, all rotation, all things that are moving are with time delta time. So you can see it looks just absolutely beautiful. Now just to show you that what's in the scene, so let's turn off uh, maximize on play. Now let's just hit play here. And what you see in the scene is the helicopter with all of its information. We have uh, the Gatling guns here and each individually, again there are 54 real Gatling guns. Um, and then these are the shell uh, transforms. So I can move the shell transforms and have the shells first any way I want, uh, but we won't do that, I mean, obviously I have it set up the way I like now. So pulled objects only carries a sound, which is these, muzzle flash, this is an emitter, these are particle system emitters that are, that are emitted by code, and the pooled game objects, so there's a script here, that has object pools, that just carries the mesh, material, um, some other information. These are the Gatling scripts that's supposed to be set up, and then these are information for the lines for the bullets, slow motion numbers, whatever it would do, sounds, and particle system emitters. So you can see everything is efficiently programmed. I don't know if it's possible to make it even more efficiently programmed, because I don't believe so from after many uh, tests. So. But um, thank you for taking the time to look at this video, and hopefully it was enjoyable. If you have any questions, just give me an ask. Uh, I'm also on Twitch. You can find my Twitch in the Discord, but I haven't been there lately uh, due to not feeling well. But um, I have been trying to do some stuff like this because I have to try to keep up, right? Alright, well thank you for your time and have a great night.